need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. After selecting text, you can use the Character panel to apply formatting to the characters selected. To display the Character panel, you can click the Toggle Character and Paragraph Panel button at the right end of the Options bar, located right over here, or you could select Window and Character from the menu bar and that will do the same thing. What you'll see here is that many of the options that we can set in the Character panel are the same as the options that we can set from the Options bar when there's a text tool selected. First, you can use the font drop-down right here to select which type of font you want to use. Next, you can use the font style drop-down to select which variation on the selected font that you want to use, like bold, italic, and others. Keep in mind that some fonts do not have every style available to them. For example, the Lucida Calligraphy font only allows the use of the italic font style. If that's the case, don't worry, you can use the buttons at the bottom of this panel to apply several types of faux finishes, like faux bold or faux italic, if the font doesn't have a natural stylistic variant. You can use the Font Size drop-down right here to set a size for your font. Remember, you could also just type a value in the text box if you prefer. To the right of that, we can set what's called the Font Letting using that drop-down. And letting refers to the amount of space between the baselines of each line of text. Now, remember that the baseline is the line upon which the text rests. So if you have multiple lines of text, you can change that and increase or decrease the amount of space between those baselines. Next, we have the kerning. And you use the font kerning dropdown to set the amount of specific space between character pairs. You can manually control the kerning, or you can use the automatic kerning built into the font by the font designer. Setting a positive kerning value increases the space between the specified characters, and setting a negative kerning value decreases the amount of spacing between characters. Now, kerning can only be set on a selected set of two characters, so you could go in and change this here, just like that. Now, if you want to select more than two characters and change the spacing, then you need to use the tracking instead. So we could select all of this, and right to the right of that, well then we have right here where it says tracking. And again, you can use the drop-down to set a value for that. You can also use the vertically scale and horizontally scale text boxes to set a percentage of the text to scale horizontally or vertically. Unscaled, characters have a scale of 100%. You can adjust this percentage to increase or decrease the selected character's width and height. After that, we have what's called the baseline shift. The baseline shift controls the amount of distance that the selected type will appear above or below the baseline. So this is useful for creating customized superscript or subscript characters and is also used for creating drop caps at the beginning of a news article, for example. The point value entered into this text box will raise the selected text above the baseline by that many points if it's positive, and it will lower the text below the baseline by that many points if negative. So I could just change this to, let's say, 5, for example, and you'll see that increase, or I could say negative 10, and it'll lower it. You can also click the color box here to launch the color picker where you can select the color of the font. We've seen that many times now. And then we have many buttons along the bottom here. You can click, for example, the faux bold button, 
which will apply a fake bold effect to the selected text. And then we also have the faux italic button, which will apply a fake italic appearance if it's not available up here. Back down at the bottom we have some more buttons to look at. To make the selected text all uppercase, you can click the all caps button. To give the appearance of having the selected text appear in all small uppercase letters, then you click the small caps instead, just to the right of that. You can click the superscript or subscript buttons to make the selected text appear as traditional superscript or subscript text. You can also apply an underline or a strike through to selected text by clicking the underline or strike through buttons that are available. Like that. Now below that you can use the language drop down right here to set the language used for the text created. And then after that you can specify which style of anti-aliasing you wish to use from the anti-aliasing drop down that we've seen up in the options bar. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.